What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. I'd like to weigh in on uh, Pat Seeloff, uh not playing for the Windsor Spitfires this year and uh, either playing for the Calgary Flames or um, the Abbotsford here in the American Hockey League. I like the rule that allows him to do that, um, you know, because he was drafted off the U.S. development team. I, I personally think juniors have too much power. I think a lot of cases, they're 19 year old kids that have proven everything in juniors and, you know, could use AHL seasoning and due to, you know, the, the ludicrousness, which isn't a word, of the rule, you know, they have to go back to juniors, which I never understood. I can't rationalize that rule. Um, but, you know, like I said, I, I think it's good to see Seeloff be, um, you know, not, not be held to that, you know, the BS law. But it's funny, when I met Seeloff at the draft and interviewed him, um, I, one thing I was thinking about but didn't ask him was just that. As a development team product, has Calgary spoken to you about um, possibly playing in the AHL? And I just thought it was such a, a long shot, far fetched question, I'd bother asking. You come to find out, you know, three months later that, you know, that's exactly the case. And um, it, it's intriguing. I think it's it'll be good for him. You know, I'd like to see his offense blossom a little more. I thought that could have happened in the uh, OHL more than the AHL, but playing against men is what Jay Feaster and company wanted to do. Uh, now Burke's in charge, so, you know, Burke is no problem bucking the establishment. We, we know that. That's a, a foregone conclusion with um, Berkey, but... You know, I, I think it'll be, um, I think he's up for the challenge. And I, I'll talk more about Connor Carrick, too. I guess we'll talk about him right now. Connor Carrick, another development team product taken in the 2012 draft um, by the Washington Capitals. Had the, um, played for Plymouth last year after decommit from the University of Michigan. Washington is all intention to either have him on the team, like Seeloff, or playing for their AHL affiliate Hershey. You know, I like the rule that allows him to do that. Um, I reiterated that and sound like a, a parrot. You know, Jeremy Moran was, you know, in that, that circumstance. And, couple other guys over the years, you know, went from the development team to major juniors to the AHL, and, um, you know, I just think it's a fair rule. You know, I think the kids are ready for that competition. They should be able to play against men on a night and night out basis in, at the uh, American Hockey League level. But the Seeloff situation is interesting because he spoke to me, if you saw my interview, with him about possibly being the captain of the Spitfires this year um, and how, you know, they want to take steps forward as a team, and he really never hinted at, you know, now I mean, I'm some idiot with a stupid YouTube account, but, you know, there was never a hint of, well, you know, I don't, it was just, it was optim, optimism, you know, um, personified with uh, Josh Osang, Kirby Raquel, who I met, you know, right before he, I interviewed Seeloff and, you know, they're good kid, um, but actually it's funny, I think out of any of them, I thought Raquel had the best shot of sticking with an NHL team, and, um, you know, I think Josh Osang is um, with an NHL team with Raquel, obviously, uh, he's not eligible for the A, um, and Josh Osang should be a top 15 pick, and, you know, there's going to be less help around him. Uh, you know, both offensively and defense because that's obviously two lots bread and butter. You know, him and Slater, Koku could have made it. You know, I think Koku played one game after the trade before he got hurt uh, from Peter Bar Pizza. And having the two of them for a full season would give Windsor a very good um, back end pairing. But, you know, that's not going to be the case this year. And I think, um, and he can play for the U.S. of the World Juniors if he's in the AHL, um, which is cool. I like it. Um, but anyway, it's something to watch. And I think this could be the case going forward that kids that don't have to go back to juniors aren't being sent back there. And I believe the case is still he can put this won't count as year in his entry level deal unless he plays 10 or more games with the Flames. So that's something to watch. Anyway, that's on this episode of the Power Play with CJ. I'm Pat Seeloff, leaving the Windsor Spitfires to turn professional. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.